Bowman here at BW1.com and we're going to do a review on the dry case. The dry case is a pouch that's supposed to be waterproof and protect your electronics up to 100 feet. And we're going to put that to the test in this review. So let's first start off by unboxing. Check out what's inside here. Alright. Looks like we have actually the instructions are right here inside the casing here. Alright. So this looks like this is the pouch here. Get to that in a second. And I'll show what this is. This is probably some type of a pump to um, vacuum seal it. You have an armband. Looks like you have a nice little uh, keychain here. Alright. Sticker. And just the other side of the packaging here. Alright. Let's take a look around the dry case itself. All right, looks like it locks up here. As far as the casing, it's like a open it up that way, and yeah, there it goes. Probably opens up to the top there. And all right, let's see if we can get it to open. Yep, there we go. It opens, separates, and opens up just like that. And um, has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack for depending on what you're using your on it, either your iPhone, your mobile phone, Blackberry, whatever takes, whatever has a headphone jack this size, you plug it right into there, and you put it inside the case. And it gives you a little card here to let you know that it's tested on the water overnight, and the initial of the person that tested it. It's pretty cool, good to know. Alright. Like this, is like here, this is where you pump out the air. And this is the other side where you put your headphones in. Alright, so that's pretty much it as far as the hardware tour and little unboxing there so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna put this to the test okay time to put the dry case to the test so we're gonna start off by setting up the system here we're gonna use an iPod uh, iPod touch here iPod uh, touch fourth generation for the test and what we'll do is slide it into the casing here and pull out the audio jack plug it into the bottom just like that and we'll slide it into the case here. Alright, make sure we get it in a good position. Alright. Alright, that looks good there. And now we'll lock it up here at the top. Make sure everything. Alright. Right. There we go. Lock it just like that. Make sure it doesn't open. Make sure it's nice and sealed. And now we use the pump to uh, suck out the rest of the air in it. And we're supposed to do it until it can't go anymore. Looks like we might have it already. Alright. Alright. Looks like we sucked out all the air. One more test. Alright. Close up the, the, the pump hole there. All right, and now, well, we while we can't get to the uh, ocean here in the frozen tundra that currently the uh, northeast here is in New England, but we do have this bowl full of water and a New England Patriot style to do the test with. So, all right, we'll take it, and dunk it in here. All right, Let's see we have it in there. Switch it around a little bit. Let's make sure. Let's see, we still have functionality. All right, looks like we do. Let's see if I can slide and unlock it here. All right, doesn't look like it can let me access the touch screen. Might be on a little too tight. All right, let's see. All right, no, can't seem to access the touch screen. Okay, so you'll probably want to start playing your music as such before you turn on it before you put it in there you want to set your music set your playlist and all that stuff ahead of time i don't have, have a pair of headphones i want to test with that are that are be there that are that are um waterproof at all so i'm not going to really be able to test the audio jack here just yet but um as you can see there it's completely submerged you can turn it on can't get any touchscreen functionality might be able to do that with other devices but currently not with this and we have it sitting in there so now we'll just take it out all right see if it's still dry all right move that bowl up dry 
off my hands here. All right. Let's unlock it. Let's see if we can do that. Probably open this here. And let's see if we can. Yep, there we go. Get the other side here. And keep it sealed in there. Alright, just get this other side to go. There we go. Alright. Let's see. Open it up. You can hear the suction come off of it. Open it up here. Dry my hand off a little bit. Sure, I will slide it out. And the iPod is fully dry. Okay, as you see there, the dry case really does work. Only thing you can't work around with it right now is the touch screen. Unfortunately, the touch screen didn't work in our testing here, but maybe that'll happen in the future. Well, who knows? We'll see. But other than that, it'll play your music. You can use it underwater, or you can use it while you're at the ocean or at the beach or in the pool. And it protects your electronics and everything will work just fine, as you can see right there. Definitely give it a thumbs up here. So this is Bowman here from BW1.com reminding you to check the link in the description where we have a full write-up over at BW1.com with pictures and um, also where you can probably purchase the dry case at. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube page here, follow us on Twitter, and always remember to live your tech world in high definition.